With less than three weeks until Christmas, it is crunch time for Santa's elves. Yeah, sure is. But Marines here in Omaha are busy helping out the big guy in red, sorting toys for tots. They're making sure every child will have something under the tree. KTV News Watch 7's Nicole Goodrich is live with this new story at 6. Gifts left in Toys for Tots bins go on quite the journey after they're donated without ever leaving Omaha. After the toys are donated, it's up to Marines and volunteers to sort them. Any other day of the year, call them Marines or college softball players. But Friday, they have a different title Santa's Helpers. We should have worn elf costumes. Yeah. They're sorting thousands of toys. Boxing them by age and gender. The Marine Corps has run the Toys for Tots program for 67 years. And last year, about 40,000 toys made it into the hands of area kids. Everything that's collected in the uh, state of Nebraska stays here. Bellevue University softball players are pitching in for the day. Toys for Tots just kind of was the first thing that came to mind because we all, whenever kids come to our games, we all just love hanging around with the little kids. But temporary and veteran elves both say it's work that brings out the kid <laughs> in everyone. It's kind of nice to still see those uh, older toys uh, around. Uh, so it brings back a little bit of memories. It's a little chaotic, yeah. but it's really fun because we'll pick up toys and we'll just be like, oh my God, I remember <laughs> playing with this. As Christmas gets closer, the boxed up toys. We'll go to local nonprofits to make sure each gift ends up in excited hands on Christmas morning, while Santa's helpers will go back to their other jobs. It's kind of just a personal reward of knowing that uh, you did uh, something a little uh, to help out the community. If you want to donate toys, there's not a lot of time left. The Marines say this weekend is their last big event at Nebraska Furniture Mart. They say they stop picking up boxes on the 20th. If you do plan to give, they say they always need toys for older kids ages 12 to 14. They are always accepting cash donations. Jeremy Melissa, back to you. All right, thanks, Nicole. Well, there are a lot of questions as to what the playbook will look like with a new Husker coach. We're breaking.